Well, hello there, and welcome to another weekly plan with me. My name is Stephanie, and thanks for stopping by. I don't know how entertaining these videos are, but I have fun making them. So if you have fun watching them, consider subscribing, because I would appreciate that. And we're going to be planning for the week of... May 2nd through the 8th, which is what I have opened right now. And I'm going to get you zoomed in so you can see better of what I'm doing. Hopefully that's okay. I started to do a little bit of, um, for yesterday, I started to do a little bit of planning because I knew I wouldn't be able to get the video done yesterday. I'm going to be using this washi tape, see if it'll zoom in. <laughs> Not till I get far enough, there we go. So it's got a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, cute little plants. Uh, and I just was feeling blue for this first week. I may uh, also do my monthly section in this video, depending on if I can work quickly enough through planning this week and finishing the previous week. You know what I'm gonna do though, is actually take this out. And hopefully that's a little bit easier. kind of manage and you can still see everything good I felt like I was getting real close to the um, to the camera it's kind of reminded me of like when I get in my mom's car uh, she is shorter than me but man she's got her seat pulled up so close to the steering wheel I'm like mom you're like making out with the steering wheel at this point And I keep telling her to push her seat back because it's uh, apparently not super safe to be that close to your steering wheel when, if you're in an accident. So, but it, I understand too the challenges, you know, her being able to <laughs> reach the, the pedals. Um, let's see here. This week I have been feeling I shouldn't say this week because it's only Tuesday, um, but these last few days I've been feeling a little bit meh, mostly because I either came down with a cold or I got terrible allergies. Sometimes when I get a cold, it lasts for like 24 hours, maybe 36 hours at the most. I love it when, when that happens and I can recover quickly. And I seem to have recovered quickly, but I also think it could have been allergies because on Sunday, so a couple days ago, um, I spent a lot of time outside at a family gathering and these past few weeks have been, sorry, I'm out of frame there. Uh, these past few weeks have been very windy, very dry, so no, feels like no rain for quite some time. This is my uh, Zig Clean Color Dot Marker in black. Yeah, so it's been windy, it's been dry, and I guess I'm just not used to being outside as much anymore because I left the gathering early on Sunday. And um, when I got home, I took a little nap. And by early, I mean like five. <laughs> um, my husband had stayed there uh, for a few more hours. 
But anyway, when I got home, I took a nap and when I woke up, I was just ugh, feeling awful. And the next day was a little bit the same, although better. And as the day went on, I did get better. And today I do feel a little bit better, but I, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just very crappy allergies. Okay. Um, I want to write the days of the week next, but I want to do it with this color. I have colors picked out for the week and the month. Oh, that's my other, my other notebook. Um, oops, wrong section. Yeah, let's do this light blue. Let's see how that works. This is a uh, Pentel brush sign pen. These for if you're a beginner like I am, uh, doing hand lettering um, these are really nice because they have a nice nice short tip compared to oh, I don't have my Tombows here anymore I put them away but let's even take this one so this is the Marvy La Plume yeah La Plume 2 you can see what a big difference in tip size and the Tombows are actually a little bit longer than this Marvy lip plume too. Um, so anyway, these are really, really nice for a beginner calligrapher, if that's the word. And I just wanna make sure you can see okay. Okay, it's very light. Um, we'll see how how I like that. Um, so I think also this week is Mother's Day. So let's get the sticker out. So as I was saying, you know, allergies have been pretty bad this year. We had a really good monsoon last year and um, I think, I guess I'll do Cinco de Mayo. Not that it really matters. Uh, and I must have already done Mother's Day. Oh, because I don't have it. Okay. Anyway, yeah. We had a good monsoon last year, and that often means a lot of growth. But until we get a next set of rain, it's just going to be dusty and windy and more allergies, which is kind of funny because people moved to Arizona to get away from, I guess, the allergens that they were dealing with on their side of the country, whatever that is. Oh, I'm so sorry for shaking there, just shifting in my chair. Um, anyway, I'm all over the place. So yeah, that's my understanding is people moved to Arizona to get away from whatever allergies they were dealing with, but they also brought some of those um, allergens with them in the form of like olive trees and I don't know like other kinds of trees that typically are not native to to Arizona granted right now the Palo Verdes are in bloom they put out these really pretty very delicate yellow blossoms they're very pretty but they also oh my goodness they make a mess and they release so much pollen um 
Like it's just, it's ugh. So with the wind and with the Palo Verde trees being in bloom, it is just, you know, can't win. <laughs> okay. Um, so there's actually something interesting going on this week in the form of the fact that we, so we've been in our project phase for my class that I've been taking. Um, sorry, just realized I had unread messages. I got some DMs and I didn't get a notification for it. Um, <clears throat> so we've been in the project phase for a few weeks now, and we're s these last two weeks of class, which are, yay, so excited. Um, anyway, these last two weeks of class are supposed to be part coding, part job hunting, essentially, and, um, they actually made a schedule for us. So I don't know if I'm going to do this code box. But what I do want to do is make the schedule on here. So that's what I was pulling up right now, um, is the schedule that we're supposed to be following. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I need six. Yeah, I'm just not going to track coding time anymore. And how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that's the same. I'm going to make it seven just in case I miscounted. And if all of that is confusing, you will see in a second what I'm I'm talking about in terms of six and seven. One, two, Okay, hopefully that's enough space. My chair is so creaky. <laughs> um, so nine to 10. to 12. One, two, three. Three to four.
Okay, so yeah, that's what I was talking about with how many spaces I needed. So this is the schedule we're supposed to be following. And um, actually I am gonna put here Okay, and lunchtime is not going to change. I don't know why I got rid of that. I'm trying to remember what I was talking about besides having bad allergies. I don't know if other parts of the country or even parts of the world deals with seasonal allergies. trying to remember when I was in Missouri it was winter time so and it was snowing pretty much the whole time and when I was in Michigan it was summertime I might have had actually a little bit of allergies when I was in Michigan same in California yeah definitely in California <laughs> uh, sorry I keep flipping back and forth uh, so this week I guess is just gonna be kind of one of those weeks where I will kind of, well, I guess I'm going to be continuing how I've been as far as planning as I go, but really, um, let's see, I had a nap at that time. Go talk. I kind of just did did it all day. I fell behind. We were supposed to send out 55 resumes over the weekend and I didn't get any done because I was trying to make my code work on Saturday and Sunday I was pretty much with family all day until I got home and I just felt really crappy. All right, so let's move on to the previous week as far as finishing up planning for, for that. And I do need to take this off. This, by the way, is a Friction Multi-Pen, Pilot Friction. I love it. Um, I love it. <laughs> it's pretty good if you prefer to take notes when and only use pen um, that's a good one because if you mess up you can just erase it now if you live in a hot climate like I do do not leave anything in your car <laughs> this summer because it's just gonna get erased basically the heat is what I mean, friction creates heat and heat is what makes it erase, so to speak. It just separates the um, pigment, I believe, from the carrier. And that's why it like disappears more so than like erases. This green marker was too dark, too opaque, I should say. Um, okay, so I'm also excited because I get to use my stickers. Okay, so I have organized my stickers. Um, I still have my Great King Jim uh, sticker binder thing but when I ordered um, from Nightingale Paper Co, Coffee Monsters Co, and Paper Bits Co, which is somewhere in here, um, I wanted to have something not as big as the King Jim because I knew these were going to be smaller sheets and I was looking at potentially getting another one of these from Hobonichi or from Jet Pens that sells it there too. But for the price, it's really, it's wonderful quality and they fit perfect. Like how just perfect is that? 
but at the same time it's just again for the price I would have been spending I don't know like 15 bucks for these two and then I you know I also got this one to put um, a bunch of deco stickers that came from my happy planner um, happy planner like the sticker books so I went to the Dollar Tree or I call it the dollar 25 tree nowadays um, and I picked up these four by six photo albums which work just as well granted these are a little bit more crinkly compared to these where the plastic is like a lot softer a lot smoother I don't know I don't know how you would describe that but um, anyway so yeah I got these from the Dollar Tree but I'm just basically excited to use my stickers is really the point of me talking <laughs> all this much um i'm trying to remember friday that was me popping my my fingers using my desk friday um was that the day that i got my code i think that was thursday Oh crud. Yeah, at this point it's not super relevant. So we're just gonna kind of go with it. Oops. Um four hours. I know I did things on Friday. But you know what? I'm just gonna kind of leave it and I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's see. I'm trying to remember how I did these. These are emotion based ones. Like, actually, where did I see? This one is pretty perfect. Where's the one with this? Yeah. Gosh, I was blowing my nose so much on Sunday because I just felt the. <laughs> By the way, I I don't know if you could hear that, but my slippers, depending on how I drag them on the floor, it sounds like I am farting, but I promise I'm not. It just is my slipper. Then if you can't hear it, then um, I may just cut everything I just said out. <laughs> okay. I'm very disorganized and I just need to look for things that I want to do. So how about starting with laundry or watering and or plants? This is cute. Oh, these are cute. We have a Monstera. It is doing okay. We're very confused by whether or not it's actually doing okay. Okay, laundry and film. I haven't used this one in a while. I'm just gonna put him here. This is Winston. Uh, laundry. You know, I felt like I was at my computer for such a long time on Thursday. And I'm going to acknowledge that by doing a little computer Winston too. still have laundry. That's pretty much all I did last week. Oh, there we go. I have not been a cleaning ninja, so I need to do that 
hopefully this week. Um, let's see what else. Nothing special for dinner. Actually, last week we were pretty bad with dinner. Um, had my mock interview. It went pretty well, I gotta say. I don't know if I already mentioned that. Um, according to the person who was doing my mock interview, um, she said that I did pretty well. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but <laughs> that's what she said. So I guess it is encouraging and making me feel a little bit more confident about sending my resume out to various companies and organizations. Um, family time. Do I have anything? I actually do need to email their Etsy shop because I still have not received um, the stickers I ordered through there. So I wonder if they got lost in the mail because I definitely got the confirmation that they had been sent out. My husband's family was in from Texas and um, we made, actually I didn't have anything to do with making the Mexican food, but uh, there was a lot of Mexican food to be had, which made last night's dinner very tasty. Um, what else? How about some deco? This is my bande. Yeah, bande, you can kind of see it there. B A N D E. Washi tape sticker roll. I don't know exactly what you would call it. And I don't know if these are actually what I thought would match. But I just want to use things. Okay, that one's orange. This is clearly the fall roll. Uh, oh, this is the one I should have grabbed. Something a little bit more springy. about undecisive, right? Indecisive? Undecisive? I don't know. And because I have it, what I need to always remember is not to have good too good to use syndrome when I am using my stickers and by that I mean I don't want to use the sticker because it's just too good and it's so good that I'm afraid it'll run out and I just need to remember that I can always reorder some more if I do run out. Oh actually edit. This is the one I wanted. Where am I? Edit. 
lunch. What did I have for lunch this week? Saturday's dinner was so funny. I got a mean craving for chicken. So we went to a local place that has like Mexican style chicken. It's very tasty and it definitely satisfied my my need for chicken. <laughs> this is cute. We watched three episodes of Bridgerton. And decided to call it a night because we were going to be up early the next day at my in-laws. Um, okay. Don't have any other appointments coming up this week as far as my to-do list goes. It's just pretty much going to be the same as sending out resumes. And getting my code up to par so I can display it. But I also, you know what, I am going to make a to-do list. Okay, so if I used this marker, I guess I'll just use it again. I'm sure you can see that okay. This is my foray style mark pen in 0.5. I don't know why, but I really like this particular pen marker thing for these for these little um, check boxes. I skipped one too many. They also seem to dry very quickly in the Hobonichi. Um, so yeah, I really like those. It's kind of like, even though it's like a pen, it's technically like a marker, just like a fine tip marker. Not as fine as like the Micron's, but still pretty dang good. Um, what I do want to do, this is so light. I wonder if Let's give this a whirl and see how it looks. We're experimenting. We're allowed to fail or succeed. Um, it looks, especially Monday, looks really bad. I was trying to do it below. I think if I were going to try to do that, I should have done it with something that was fine tip and not brush tip. But I guess the rest of them turned out okay. It is a little bit darker, so you can see it a little bit better the days. But at the end of the day, does it really matter? It only matters to me. Well, because I have been ranting for quite some time, I'm going to call this a day with the video. I do hope you liked it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing um, if you want to see more videos like this. And I hope you guys have a lovely week this week as we enter a new month, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!